we're here at Button Beach at the beautiful resort GoldenEye. Yes, we're back. And I wanted to highlight something because there's been a lot of discussion on this trip about Dr. No. My gosh, you know, the very first movie, Heritage, Live and Let Die, the very first Roger Moore movie. And those locations are just absolutely amazing. You show up to them and they are immediately obvious that this is the place that those movies, those indelible parts of the franchise happened. But it's not all about heritage, nostalgia, and older movies. No, here at Button Beach, literally, as you come onto the beach and you start to turn, you start to see a very familiar sight. You see, out here, right in front of Button Beach, you have that ship behind me. Well, that ship is probably one of the largest props, certainly the largest vehicle, from no time to die. We're gonna get a little closer up and personal with it. So I've kayaked out here and lo and behold, over my shoulder, we've got that giant prop. <laughs> it's a vehicle, of course it is. And uh, my gosh, you know, here's how the story goes before we get really, really up close and personal. And you can kayak right from Button Beach over at Golden Eye, I'm looking right at it, uh, out to the ship totally fine there's 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 families and people uh, picnicking in the area it just has a very festive and then of course the bond geek and all of us you know looks from button beach and then sees this and the story goes that um basically it was an old trolley ship and one day it just disappeared just disappeared and they were like where'd the old trolley ship go and then it came back with a beautiful new paint job like this well, it went for a uh, co-starring role in No Time to Die. Um, it, they actually took it to um, Port Antonio, where they were doing other filming with a, um, a seaplane. And the seaplane went over, and this is not a spoiler because it's in, I think, two trailers and behind the scenes, but there's an explosion and there's a plane flying over, and we don't know how it's used, but obviously it's Jamaica. So we know that Bond is retired here. Something goes amiss. There's an explosion, and that plane is a part of it. That's it. That's all we know. We don't know anything else. So um, I'm going to admire this because the next time I see it, it's probably going to be in no time to die. And I'll go, whoa, I was uh, I was just a couple hundred yards from that. But let's get even closer. Well, we are just I mean, this is how close we are <laughs> to the boat. And it's cool because it's like, you know, this is a vehicle from a James Bond movie right off the shore of the Golden Eye Resort. Uh, you can hear music in the background, lots of families frolicking, and who knows how many people, I think they probably all know this, this wasn't a James Bond film, but as you can imagine, very exciting. Very exciting for them, and very exciting for me to be, what, 30 yards? No, not even 30 yards. That close. Beautiful, beautiful boat. Um, again, got the fresh paint uh, for its uh, starring role, so there it is. Okay, an alternate shot of the Blue Angel, but you can see the... Uh, uh, I guess they're called the life preservers, the lifesavers, lifesavers, like I'm going to suck one, um, on there saying Blue Angel. And, you know, here it is. This is kind of the wonderfully strange feeling that I'm having right now. It is February 2021. Um, the movie right now, this second, is scheduled for September 30th in the UK, I believe October 8th in the States. So I'm hoping to see uh, this ship in all its glory then. This is a, a wonderful preheat. It's always strange to see a Bond location, or in this case, a Bond vehicle, before the movie itself. But we do get a sneak peek, like I said, in the trailers. And it's a beautiful boat just on its own, even if you were just to go buy it. And that's that fresh coat of paint uh, that we talked about. But anyway, just wanted to bring this to you. Uh, it's very cool. And again, this was a couple paddle moves uh, close to GoldenEye. So David Zritsky for the Bond experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you.
Talk to you soon.